Hi, my name is James Matthews with Walter Farms in Colorado, and I'm Brad Fry, entomologist with Walter Farms in Nebraska. And the zebra chip issue is a big issue for us up there. We have you know millions of dollars invested in potato crops, um, and we know zebra chips are a very real threat. Um, it, it's it's there. Currently, we know that uh, we see it in our quality samples. You know. One two percent every year. Whether we have seems like whether we have a high silic pressure or whether the surveys pick up the Liberobacter, it just seems to be in there at kind of background levels every year. Um, so this year we uh, did a few experiments of our own in the field. Um, we've stemmed off of the research that has already been done, and we did some um, beneficial trials, beneficial insect trials in our field. And uh, we're still waiting to compile that data, but it looks promising um, that we may be able to push off some insecticides for a few weeks um, by using beneficial insects. We also used um, some crop oils um, in addition to our insecticides this year. And again, we're um, going to need to go through that data this winter, but um, we'll see what the results look like. Yeah, so our most immediate need for research really is insecticide efficacy especially on the different stages of silage, you know, each life cycle, what is the most efficacious insecticides to use. And, uh, you know, that's the most urgent need. Of course, there's a lot of, you know, longer term issues, but, uh, you know, that's something we're spending, you know, lots and lots of money on insecticides every year. We want to make sure that we are rotating and timing those applications to, to get the most efficiency we can out of them. Um, there, one, one thing I think we need to do as an industry is the testing of the light barabactor, the psyllids, to see if they're hot. It, it, it really needs to be real-time PCR. We know that that's a, a more sensitive way to pick up the pathogen. Um, so, of course, that, that may require more funding to get that done, but it just it seems like a lot of effort, a lot of work goes into that, and yet we're not using the most sensitive method to um, pick up the pathogen. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to us. Yeah, it would also be very helpful to know um, the population that exists, um, whether it is overwintering in Nebraska or migrating in, and um, which haplotypes of psyllids um, and the bear vector that, that is present in those populations. But yeah, we just want to express our appreciation too to all the research that has been done and all the funding that has been donated to the SCRI zebra chip uh, project. You know, it, 